Hello, and welcome back, everyone, to Austin, Texas. My name's Saul Spady. I'm happy to be your host in the Dix Live Stage, sponsored by Shukar Construction. They're building the new Dix Drive-Ins in Federal Way, opening in July. Uh, you'll see on this incredible stage, uh, twinkly lights. Uh, they've given us these lights and helped make this art happen. And then, of course, my ad agency has put all together this production team that has really built uh, an incredible made to be seen forest or watched here in Rich's Art Gallery in Austin, Texas. I've been wearing my cowboy hat, but for this particular band, I gotta tell a quick story because we've recorded them a few times at Dick's Drive-Ins, but it's a long journey to the top, and I've been telling everybody, well, one, it's hard to put on a hat with uh, one hand, so. I've been telling everybody that the theme of South by Southwest is it's spring training for culture. It's where art, music, tech, uh, the bands like King Youngblood you're about to see come together to try to prove their metal uh, multiple times over on many stages. And, and this one is very special to me because it builds a bridge between two art communities and two audiences. We have a mixed set and group of Austin artists as well as Seattle artists and uh, we get to enjoy a band that performs at Climate Pledge Arena uh, in front of our uh, hopefully playoff bound hockey team. And so these guys have performed in front of 15,000 people and now uh, they're gracing Rich's art gallery and hopefully your television sets all around the world and maybe a live uh, show that you get to enjoy at some point for it. But I, I need to stop talking, I got that gift of gab, but they got the gift of music for you. It's King Youngblood, they're from Seattle, but we're live at Rich's Art Gallery in Austin, Texas. <laughs>
on Seattle, Washington. This next one's called Threat. to us because it's one we wrote with a mentor of ours and someone we are so honored to grace the stage with and that man is Aaron Jones the song is called Shadow I hope you enjoy all things considered I've gotten used to the taste Choking on the choice and choices I never made. I'm coughing up blood, it's marking the change. I hope it's enough. I hope I'm the same. After all this time, I still can't. Outrun my shadow Can't outrun my shadow It's the flash of the gun
shit. Thank y'all very much. Very, very much. This next song we're about to play, it's called Home Is Only A House.
the key in case you know the light is your own. What's best for me? What's best for me? That's incredible. I gotta find my way onto this stage. They put me with the audience. It's a, it's a tough place to be, but it's so incredible to have you all here. It's really cool to welcome King Youngblood back to this stage, I think now for the third time. But real quick, before I get out of here, can you introduce uh, the entire band and just uh, Absolutely. tell a little bit about everybody? Absolutely. So playing easily the coolest instrument you will ever see in a rock band is Jeff Peterson on a cello. Yeah. Thank you, Austin. <laughs> to my left, my main man holding it down on the low end is Sammy Garcia on bass. And behind me, my co-pilot, my brother in brown, is Alex Daniel on the drums. And my name is Cameron Lavi Jones. And we are King Youngblood. Well, there, there we have it. Um, one thing I want to ask you is, I, I've seen you play a couple times through the years. You're, you're a younger guy. We don't have to reveal ages here. My oh, birthday, I? My birthday was very recent, so I'm not saying anything. Got but uh, you understand that art is, is a journey. It's a team sport. You got your team up here. They're the people who help make your entire show happen right. behind the scenes. What is it like kind of going on this journey to South by Southwest with this crew? What is it like kind of growing a team and, and building it a, as a band? Why, why is that something bands need to like stick to and really think about and keep working on? Yeah. Well, first of all, let me just say... The barbecue here down in the South by Southwest, down to Austin. Oh my gosh, it's worth it every food. dime. Please get some if you get the chance. But I don't know. We love coming down to Austin. It's our first time here. I mean, I don't know about you, Cam, but it's yeah. definitely mine. No, mine too. And uh, it's nice to be here with the band. It's good, good bonding. And I mean, the more tours you do, the more people you get to hear us play. And that's really all we're out here for. You exactly. Know? I yeah. just want to spread some music across oh. the country. Yeah. But, first um, step. You know, when it comes to, to building a band especially, it's funny, I was talking to somebody at the first show that we played yesterday, it was a house show, and somebody was asking me, what is it like to actually put a team together? What does that feel like? And they were especially talking about touring in that perspective. And the thing that I told him was, you have to make sure that you're with people that you not just love to be around, but people that make you a better artist. I know each and every one of these people are in this band, not just because I wanted to have a team around me of, you know, like a bassist and a cellist and a drummer, but I wanted Sammy on bass. I wanted Alex on drums. I wanted Chet on cello. And I think when you turn that corner of not just looking for people who play those instruments, but people that speak that language in a way that makes you feel closer to your art, that's really band chemistry. That's what makes the difference between a band that's just playing every on the, on, you know, on weekends versus a band trying to say something. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to push a message. Uh, I love that. <laughs> Woo! The audience loves it too. They're real. The, the audience people. 
Uh, here's my last question on that. You're from a, a really strong community, a music community in Seattle that is, you know, multi-generational and has icons, you know, that, that can be named multiple times over and, and they just pop into your head. You you mentioned Aaron, who's kind of here in, in this show right now performing after you. You're in Austin, Texas on a stage built by a local fast food joint. Do you, how does it feel to kind of have that community join you out here in Austin? And what does it mean to the band to be able to perform on this stage uh, one more time? Because, Absolutely. Uh, this, isn't, this isn't your first time on this stage. No, for real. Um, you know, it's, it's very interesting because when, when we really started picking up shows and shows to the point where it was like, you know, we were sweating every, every damn day if we could, Dix was always a place that we'd be going to after every show. We would squat up there and we'd talk through how our set went, we'd give ourselves our criticisms, we'd talk up ourselves about what we did right, all of those things, and it became much more than just grabbing a deluxe and staying it outside in the cold or the rain or something like that, but rather a moment to have some introspection. So to be here on this stage, not just for the, for the second time, but the second time somewhere we've never played before, it feels so in line with what we're trying to accomplish, which is representing Seattle everywhere we go. So to be here, just I want to take a moment to thank you, Saul, and everybody a part of the staff here. You guys have made this so incredibly powerful, and we are so, so blessed and lucky to be here. Thank you for being a part of this, every single one of you. It means the world to King Youngblood. Thank you all very much. Take it away. This next song we're about to play is our most popular song, and it's called Too Late Too Soon. I hope you enjoy.
Thank you very much. This next song is what put us on the road. It's the title track for our debut album, Big Thank. And this one, it's called Big Thank. Guys, 
this is my moment to step in and make it all awkward because like we are a television show that you just you haven't realized right, it yet, right, right? Right, right? No, no, no. But this is a, this is an important bit. There are people watching around. There are people here in the audience, and they kind of are thinking, "How do we support you as a band? How can we help you out? What What does a band like you need? Is it album sales, apparel sales? Is I'm, it just I'm, showing up to shows?" I'm going to tell you, it's it's Everything? D, all of the above. Because the biggest thing for us with King Youngblood is we try not just to throw shows but experiences. And just having people out there to come be a part of it goes a long, long way. Obviously, please go follow us on Instagram at King Youngblood Music, Spotify, all that good stuff, because we're working on a new album. But we're on tour right now, which means we're coming to see y'all. So come see us too, because we want to share this journey with y'all. It's true, and it's about the fun and the music. It's not about the job part of it too, so that's the priority for us. Come on. So. If you had any kind of final message here uh, to kids out there, whether they're finding this years later because they've fallen your, your history and they wanted to see an early show or the people watching back home in Seattle in a couple weeks because we're going to wrap this all up and, and stream it through the Dick's Driving Facebook page, what's the advice to that kid that wants to start a band? What should they do and how do they bring it all together and how do they get here to kind of the edges of, uh, I call it the major leagues of art? Right. The best advice I can give to anybody, especially young kids, but I'm going to say a little something just for, for my folks. If you're a young brown kid in particular, just start. The world needs more people looking like us doing this kind of music, so just start. <laughs> if you start there, people will come, it will be more normalized, and you will create the spaces that you've always wanted to belong in. So just start, because I'll be champing you on, and so will the rest of these knuckleheads. <laughs> So speaking of which, this next song we're about to play is what ended up titling this band. And uh, it's the oldest song in our discography, but I can't help but feel like it's one of the most important songs that we've ever, ever put together. So this song is called King Young Blood.
This next song is our final song, and it's called Heavy Handed. Thank you, Dix, for having me. Round of applause, everybody. King Youngblood.
Oh, man. Stay tuned. We got a lot more great art. We got a lot more great hats. Seriously, you guys got to get to Rich's Art Gallery in Austin, Texas. One big, yes. Woo. One last big uh, thank you to all of our sponsors that uh, make this show possible. Dick's Drive-In, Shukar Construction, my ad agency, Creative Empowerment, uh, alongside, of course, Twinkly Lights on this uh, incredible kind of need to see to be believed set. If you want to see it, well, you should watch the Aaron Jones Take Me Away music video. And if you want to see Aaron Jones, well, catch him all around the world as he's uh, Seattle's uh, latest rock star. And uh, he's our rock star. And we'll catch him on this stage in just a moment. It's the Dick's Live stage. Thanks for tuning in. My name's Saul Spady, and I'll be back, well, whenever I'm back. Your happiness is not